Well, someone asked a question. How do you hardwire the 5,000 watt power converter? How do you hardwire it to the uh, power converter? So we're gonna do a quick video on that real quick today. So let's go over here to the converter and uh, we'll take a look at it. Okay, this is your Gendel uh, 5,000 watt power converter here. And right here is where we're gonna connect to the this is where you hardwire it. Main thing is you don't want to have this unit on when you're connecting these wires right here. Okay, we need to get some Romex wire right here. You cut it back. I believe this is a 14 gauge. It's the it's about the lightest stuff you can get. This is like for lights and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and use this today. We don't want to I got some heavy stuff here, but we're not going to use that. That's like 10 gauge there. We'll use the 14 gauge. Okay, get you some strippers and strip it back about three quarters of an inch or so. And then we'll be ready to make our connections. Okay, the very top one has an L on it. We'll loosen this up here. Get all these loosened up where just stick the wire in there. The very top one has an L on it. That means that's your line, that's your power. That's your hot wire. That's your black wire. So that needs to go right in there. Okay, we'll loosen up that wire a little bit more. Okay, the next one is your ground wire. Or your common wire. Let's see what that says. That's uh has an N on it. So that's your neutral wire. So we'll tighten that one up. This is your earth ground. So you basically got two grounds on this thing. This is your ground. Now I'm not just doing this temporarily. I'm going to actually use this circuit here. I'm going to run this thing over over to my workbench where I'm very limited on my power over there I have one plug-in in behind the bench that's very hard to get to so I want to run a run a line over there to so I can uh, get to my power a little bit easier okay on the other end We need to cut it back and strip it back. So I'll get my cutters again. We're going to connect this up to a circuit. We're actually going to test it. Okay, I have this GFI plug here. 
we're going to go ahead and connect it to that. On the back. Black as a hot wire. Just got to push them in. And this one here is the white wire. You can either push them in or you can, I think we're going to put them on the, on the screws themselves. We don't want them to come out. Okay, now we got this all wired up. Your little bitty slot is always your hot wire. This is your ground and that's your ground. That's your earth ground. That's the bare wire. And this is your common wire. That's your earth ground, that's your common wire, and that's your hot wire. Okay, we got that all hooked up. The bare wires on the green, green lug. This needs to be in a box. I'm just going to do this, this part right here temporary right now. But I do need to get it in a box. Actually, I think I'm probably going to... This wire is probably not quite long enough to get where I'm going to go. So I might wind up putting another plug. What I might do is just take this plug and splice on another wire to it. And then take it over where I need to go with it. That way I'll put in two plugs. So now we're ready to test it out. So I'm going to set this down here. Okay, if you're doing it just like I'm doing, keep in mind all this is going to be hot. So if you turn the unit on, this will be hot. And you don't want to touch it. Like I say, this needs to be in a box. So you won't touch it. So I'm going to have to be real careful. I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. This is the grinder. Okay, it's all plugged in. I'm going to hold it here. Now I'm going to turn it on. Okay, we should be getting power here. See the little LED light came on? On the front of it. Okay. Now we should have... Get this grinder out here. Nothing. It must be tripped. Must be tripped here. Okay, see so it had the red light on there, so it was tripped. So it should work now. Okay, this circuit's working good now. So whatever you do, don't do as I did, just don't. This will shock you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this unit back off. Now it's dead. So I'm going to have to be real careful with this. I need to go find me a box to put this in. And stick it on the wall. Then I'll be good. It's cloudy and snowing today. So I'm not running my unit today. So. This is going to be off today. So I have to get out here and find me a, a box to put this in. And get it on the wall. Okay. If anybody has any questions. About this or any other projects, just let me know. So, I hope I answered your questions. Put the little cat back on. 
And that's how you hardwire your 5,000 watt power converter into the wall. This is a ground right here. You don't have to worry about You can put tape on that and take it to wherever you need to go with it. But that's how you hardwire your hardwire your power converter to house wiring. So thanks for watching.